situation. I'm not able to get out and do much shooting. Can't go clay shooting, which I had planned. Uh, and all the crop protection, which would be done under necessary uh, white roll, uh, it's all been done. Everything's up, everything's growing, everything's safe. So I thought just to try and keep everyone entertained for a couple of minutes and maybe help out a few new beginners, I'd uh, talk you through what I take the coin with me on any given day. Right guys, so start with basics, trust the old bag. Sim bird days, got a fair few holes in it, a bit wear and tear, but it still pretty much holds what I need its hold and uh, will get me across the field to where I need to be. Next up is high poles. Now, these are ancient, these are relics. Um, handed down to me to use by my dad, who does still shoot, but never really sets up a pipe. Um, they're about as old as me. Would have had kick plates at one point, not anymore. Most of the tops are broken. But they still work. They still will hold a net up, which is what I need them to do. Um, however, as that said, I will be investing in some more once this lockdown is over. Um, that's my next treat to myself. I'm going to go down and uh, decide which ones I'm going to get. I'm going to go and order some up and get some new ones for this summer, hopefully, if we're allowed to go and shoot. The hide net in itself. Now, I use a very basic netting with a, with a black mesh at the back. Um, I've got two 3 meter by 1.2 meter high. Um, why have I got two? One, I quite like a decent size hide where I can make shooting much easier and also I can accommodate either my dog or, or another person. Um, when I'm on my own I layer it up so that I've got two layers it just creates a more solid uh, net between me and, and at the end of the day the uh, pigeons and the crows so they don't see me or my movements quite as much it's more important I think to uh, hide your movements as much as anything so when I'm getting up to shoot they don't see that flare they don't see me looking around um, anything like that so that they can hopefully get me nice and close ready to shoot ok moving on right next up uh, this is actually a new investment for myself, um, so I bought 20 of these dead bird cradles. Never used cradles before, used to just pop a bird's head up with a stick, a little chin stick, and that would do. Um, thought I'd move with the times. Bought these from Nighthawk, uh, good service, delivery came, well packaged. They seem fairly well made, sturdy, uh, welds and everything else. Um, this just shows you lifts the bird off the ground. I really used them the other day and I really, really liked them. Um, bird presentation was brilliant and well, the bird certainly came in that day so I can only say they must work. Uh, speaking of decoys, let's see how I would start off then. Right, so my plastic decoys, this is how I start pretty much every one of my days as I don't really freeze birds to keep as uh, decoys. So I start off with basic old-fashioned plastic standard decoy. Uh, not much to be said about them, they're great, they do the job. Uh, quite a few times that's all I've used all day and had good results. Um, now mine aren't flock coated because again, like most of my stuff, they're pretty old. You'll see a couple of them have got these UV uh, socks over them. Um, they look battered now. Um, but they still work, so if it ain't broke. Um, for these, I think I've got about 20, 20 of them um, of the full bodies, and then I've got some shells, which I will show you now. Moving on, we've got the shell decoy. Um, so I've got half a dozen of these ones that sit on sticks, they sort of wobble a little bit. Um, more importantly than any sort of movement, I think, in these, the sticks don't really allow for a lot of them, is that it, again it raises them up, gives them a slightly bigger profile to any approaching birds. 
I think got a very old style of shell here, not like you'll get many of these today. Um, it's got about a dozen of them. So but all in all, spider. Uh, so all in all, I can put out a pack of happily 30, 35 birds. Um, I'll mix them all in, I won't do that. Um, and it's really a good way to get you started on a day before you can then, every shot bird I use, I will stick on one of them cradles, beef the pattern out with real birds, or replace the plastic ones if they seem to be flaring and shine, or they get wet. Um, start replacing your plastic ones with a cradle with a real dead bird on it. Um, it's worked for me for years. Many people will have their own ideas on whether it would work or not, but I know I've shot pigeons over them. Um, I'm not saying that it's the perfect setup, but it'll do. Um, most of this, the shells and the full bodies, readily available, relatively cheap. If you're a beginner and you want to get going for as little investment as you can, um, you can do it with these. Now, a slightly obscure one, a uh, plastic magpie. I was always taught to use a bird, a wary bird like a magpie as a confidence booster for your wood pigeons. So what I would do, where my pattern be, 25, 30 yards out in front, I'll pop this, probably on a stick so it's quite high, um, down the hedgerow where you would usually find a magpie. Um, do I know whether or not it works? No. Does it put birds off? No. Moving on from the magpie, we find my pro selection. Now this is just a full body plastic non-flock coated version. Uh, I bought these a good few years ago. They're quite faded. Uh, I've used them a lot. They get very, very successful. I only bought two, but I have managed to shoot a lot of pros over the top of them. Again, it's just to get you started until you can use the birds that you've already shot to decoy into more. Saying that, I have very recently, in the last week or so, taken delivery of these, my nice new flock coated version. Um, you can see the difference for yourselves between the blacks, and it is quite a difference. My only flock coated birds that I've got, decoys, they seem to attract cut grass quite well. Um, haven't tested them out yet. I bought these from Nighthawk again, good delivery through, even through the lockdown. Um, can't see any reason why they're not going to work. Um, so I bought six of the flock coated to go with two of mine and a painted pigeon decoy because I needed some more decoys at one point. Now when I do use crow decoys, and I do use them pretty much every time I go pigeon shooting, I won't mix the pigeon and crows in the same pattern. I will have a separate pattern, usually a good 15, maybe 20 yards away from the main pigeon pattern. Um, again, I think it gives it a more realistic look for the pigeons, but also you might decoy some crows in when the pigeons aren't playing ball, or even with the pigeons, and it makes for a better day and you're doing a lot more service to the farmer. Um, so yeah, use them with them, or when you when I go out on silage, you'll see um, in the video there that I will probably only use crows because I won't get many pigeons there, um, and I'm there to shoot the crows. We have a homemade bouncer. Um, all this basically is, is a length of reinforcing, um, with a point on either end, and a wing spreader in the middle. Um, I've had this for years and years, made it when I was a lot younger. Still works brilliantly with crows. Um, you can put a crow on there, you can put a pigeon on there. Once you've got a couple of birds down, it just helps to guide the birds in. Um, crows, I find it draws them from quite a distance on the right day and adds a bit of realism and movement. Actually, lastly, but this is all about movement in your pattern. Uh, movement will draw birds from a distance and also give them the confidence to come in as it just creates a more realistic uh, interpretation of a flock of feeding pigeons or indeed crows. Firstly, uh, I've got a flapper here. 
battery flapper. Um, I do have a timer for it, but I don't tend to use it as it always seems to flap at the wrong time. So instead I bought two batteries for it, so it could go flat out all day long. Um, I bought this one from A1 Decoys. Um, it's very good. I've had two. My first one broke um, after many years of use, and I updated it about a year, two years ago to this one. Haven't done that much shooting since, so it hasn't seen an awful lot of action. But it will bring in pigeons. Um, also, I will find that crows respond particularly well to this flapper. Um, don't know why, as the wing beat actually seems a little bit faster now for a crow, um, but it will draw them from miles away. Um, this is my favourite movement in any pack: is the flapper. I love it, I use it all the time, every time I go out it will be out from as soon as I can get a bird on it really. Uh, yeah, old reliable. This chunky boy, this is my rotary, it's one of the first ones that was ever made. I've had it absolutely years, uh, it still works, it needs a new battery but it does still work, uh, it does what it needs to do. I did have a pair of Hyperflap uh, Silosoft decoys for it and they were very very good as well but they got broken in, in, when I used it in extremely high winds uh, the little bar across the back snapped um, and they were starting to look a bit tatty anyway so I'll just ditch them and I've gone back to using some wing spreaders on the arms and so we put the real dead bird on there wings out and round and round they go uh, used it last time I was out on that 138th birthday if you haven't already seen it see the video um, worked brilliantly yeah it's old it's a lot heavier uh, to lug across the field than the new ones but ultimately it works they do the same job as far as I'm concerned you pay your money you take your choice some people make their own, it's entirely up to you. But basically, that concludes my kit bag. Now we go on to the highly controversial uh, part of your kit gun, cartridges, combination of uh, My gun, I've shot it for 15 years, it's a very old Beretta Silver Pigeon. It's in okay condition, not bad, considering it's had hundreds of thousands of cartridges through it probably. Um, still tight, I had it serviced recently, it's all sound, they only have to change a couple of little bits. Bluing isn't the best, um, it's seen its fair share of use, but ultimately ultra reliable. And I shoot okay with it, I'm not going to shoot any better with any other gun, do I want to upgrade it? Yes, desperately. Maybe end of the year, next year, I'll upgrade it. I know exactly what I want, but I won't release that until, uh, until I actually get it, so it can be a surprise for me. Obviously, shot cam, that's what you guys have been watching. Yeah, take the little orange lens cover off, sits neatly under there. I love this camera. I think it's absolutely brilliant. The technology in it is unbelievably good. Um, it's a really good picture, and I only have to knock the knock the stock and it switches on, ready to record and ready to shoot. So it doesn't take any time. I don't miss any birds because of it. I miss birds, but not because of that. That's my gun. At the business end, chokes. Anyone can use anything and say it's the best. I just choose to shoot three quarter and three quarter. I don't worry about it, I don't think about it. It could be a better combination out there. I really don't care. Um, it's what I feel confident in now, it's what I've used for about the last two years on everything plays, pigeon games. It doesn't matter, I don't change it. It's not worth it. Okay, cartridges. So for me, the pigeons and the game. So this is my retired gun dog Purdy. She's obviously 
a bit confused as to why all the decoys are out and like she's shooting, she's a bit upset. Um, she's blind now, so we're looking for a looking for a new one, aren't we dog? Here we go. Sit. 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 Good girl. Stay. Cartridges. Live Ed Express Pigeon Power. They're a 29 gram load, which is, as far as I'm aware, unique to them. I um, haven't ever used a 29 gram load before. Number 6 shot. But someone did inform me that they're actually a UK number 5 shot. Um, they hit very hard at range. Seem to pattern well through my gun and choke combination. Use them for a, a good year, maybe more consecutively on any feathered. Um, if I miss, it's me, not the cartridges. And that's the important thing to have some confidence in your kit that you're using. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be doubting it and you're going to blame it for everything. And you're not going to focus on your actual shooting. Not that I know how to shoot. So yeah, I would recommend them, if you want to try a new one, give them a go, they're available in plastic and fibre wood. These are plastic, I'm going to be changing to fibre I think, just to do my bit and move with the times. And uh, that's my gun and my cartridge.